Good morning to all of our Pathfinder Primary Schools and a particular shout out to Ruffuff Primary School. This is our final act of collective worship of this academic year and this time the theme is one of flourishing. Now what do we mean by flourishing? Well flourishing really makes us think about flowers or even trees like this beautiful one here surrounding me and when something flourishes it grows to the best of its ability and that's what we're going to be thinking about today in our act of collective worship we're going to be reflecting on flourishing hey everyone welcome back to assembly with faith at home and oak national academy episode 11 Today's episode is all about flourishing. Flourishing? That's right, flourishing. What is flourishing? Well, I looked up the word flourish earlier and it says to wave something about to attract attention. So like... Oi! We're doing an assembly all about this. I guess so. It's quite fun. Whee! Surely that can't be the right kind of flourishing that we're meant to be talking about in this assembly today. Okay, okay. You're probably right. Okay, Google. What does flourishing mean? Here's the definition of flourishing. Developing rapidly and successfully. Thriving. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what a mischief maker that Google, eh? You're right about that, Jessica. But let's see what you guys have to say about flourishing. In my opinion, I think flourishing is, is very important to people's lives. Flourishing means when like, you start little from reception and then you grow all the way to year six. I started from reception to year six and I've experienced different activities and I'm still currently learning. Flourishing to me is like a flower because when you're a flower you always start very small and then you grow up and then, then you turn into a big flower. For example, a small little seed of a sunflower grows into a big confident sunflower standing out. It's like when a caterpillar turns into a, a butterfly, it changes from a small scared caterpillar to a big confident beautiful butterfly. Another example is when a student really wants to work at something they carry on and on until eventually they spread their wings to achieve everything they want. Amazing! What great ways to explain what flourishing means. Definitely not just running and waving your arms around. <laughs> Definitely not. We've got someone else with us today who's going to be talking about flourishing. It's Bishop Rose Hudson-Wilkin. Here she is now. In the story of creation, God looked at all that he had created, including humankind, and said yes, meaning it is good. We're told that God made us one human race in his image. Let us remember that we belong together, all who are made in God's image. We don't just get to choose the people who look like us or speak like us or the ones we like. There is a Zulu word called Ubuntu. It means I am because you are. In other words, we are a people together. We are interdependent. We do not exist by ourselves. No one really flourishes unless we flourish together. Black and white, young and old, rich and poor, able-bodied and disabled. We are all God's children. We will flourish not on our own, but we will flourish when we are all together. And that's a wonderful message to remember and to think about as we go forward daily living our lives. I am because you are. Together we will flourish. What an amazing idea. Christians believe that God wants all of us to flourish, but he also wants us to help others flourish too. It 
reminds me of a verse in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 26. And that Bible verse says, If one part of the body suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part of the body is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. That's the one. Our friend Leah, who works with Jessica and I at Icing Pop, has made this incredible animation about this verse. Here it is now. The body is made of lots of different parts, yet it is all one body. If the foot decided it was not part of the body because it wasn't a hand, it doesn't make it less of the body. If the ear says, I'm not part of the body, I'm not an eye, that doesn't make it less of the body. If the whole body was an eye, then it wouldn't be able to hear. If the whole body was an ear, it wouldn't be able to smell anything. Aww. No part is more important than the other. If one part suffers, then all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honoured, then all the parts are glad. Now you are the body of Christ and each of you is a part of it. Christians believe that we all deserve to flourish. And if one person isn't flourishing, it isn't right that we just carry on and ignore that person. We should stop what we're doing and help that person out. Let's remember that. Because imagine what our world would look like if the people who are doing well didn't just ignore the people who are struggling, but help them to thrive and flourish too. What a world. I'm still dreaming of that world where chocolate is free too. <sighs> so, how can you flourish? Because you deserve to flourish. Whoever, wherever, whenever, you deserve to flourish. Let's head over to prayer spaces in schools and see what ideas they have about flourishing. Woo! Chris, we've talked about this. Oh, you're right. Over to prayer spaces. For this activity, you will need some paper and a pair of scissors and some colouring pens. Flourishing or thriving, it's about becoming healthier in your body, in your mind, and in your soul or spirit. It's about becoming the best of you, the you that you were made to be. Take two pieces of paper, draw a big caterpillar on one of them, then draw a big butterfly on the other, then cut around the shapes. What good things have helped you become the person you are today? They might be people who have been a good example or have been special to you. Or they might be things that you've done that have helped you feel good about yourself. Write or draw them on the caterpillar. Now you! Now think about the person you'd like to become. What might help you become healthier in your body, in your mind, in your soul or spirit? What things could help you become the best you, the you that you were made to be? Write or draw these things onto the butterfly. When you finish, you could put your pictures somewhere where you will be reminded of the good things that have helped you so far and of what you need to help you flourish or thrive. The American poet Maya Angelou said my mission in life is not merely to survive but to thrive. We hope that you flourish this week. Because you deserve to. You matter. We all matter. Thank you for joining us today. Take care and stay safe. Bye! So, I do hope that you enjoyed today's act of collective worship all about the theme of flourishing. And as I stand here by our school playing fields, I can see lots of things flourishing around about me. The trees, the grass, the flowers, 
all sorts of things. But I know that all of you are going to be flourishing as well. Flourishing this week, but also flourishing over the summer holidays as you learn new skills, maybe even make some new friends, and grow as young people. So, all that remains for me is to say, work hard in this final week, take care of yourselves, be nice to your friends and family, and I pray that God's blessing goes with you. Take care.